by our Grizzly of the day, Mr. Mr. Lachlan McPhee. Lock, how we doing, bud? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, talk to me a little bit here about the battle up there for you uh, on top of the hill. We didn't, didn't get to see a whole lot of it today, but uh, from my gathering, there was battle of the big fellas there. West Alabama put their <laughs> big guy at, uh, at the sixth line next to you. What would you think about that? Yeah, it was good. Two big servers. Pretty quick courts up there with the pollen, too. So, I mean, they got, <laughs> got the win, but... It's good to play a big server every now and then, work on your returns. And uh, first of all, let's back up here. Let's start with the, the beginning of the day. You guys are 13-0. and 0. You hear you're number one in the NAI again, it's receiving all these first-place votes. The accolades keep coming in and coming in, and you guys trying to figure out how good you are. What's the mentality like on this team? 14-0, and 0, number one team in the NAI. How do you guys keep motivating yourselves? Uh, well, we got the Pensacola trip coming up, so that's always good to have a big sort of target to train for and stuff. But... Even just little matches during the week like this is just, you know, I mean, a little bit of a day off school, which is good as well. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just good to keep winning. I've, I don't think I've lost – I've only lost one or two dual matches the whole time I've been here. So I suppose it's just developing a bit of a winning culture. And every time we come out, really, we expect to win no matter who we play. Yeah, it's been almost 12 months since your guys' last loss. And it yeah. was uh, down in Pensacola. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that trip here in a moment. Uh, you, you partnered up with uh, with your Aussie duo there, Luke Moreland there. You guys are starting to gel a little bit there. Is, is it Australian connection, or what's it like playing with him there in that, in that third doubles? Well, it's Australian connection, roommate connection. <laughs> I've known him for a fair few years since junior tennis and stuff, so yeah. we've pretty much known each other the whole time I've been playing tennis, so it's always good to be able to play with someone you know. And uh, probably the closest battle there of all the doubles was on that three line there. West Alabama puts up a little bit of a fight, but you guys have the edge. What what gives an edge for, for you and Luke at doubles? Uh, well, I think I like to think I got a pretty good serve. Like Usually we get the hold on my serve, and we got a pretty good start in that match. Um, I think we were up a double break pretty early, and then I had a bad service game and handed it back. But just good net play in general, good chemistry, and... Yeah, just the Australian connection, like you said, just good fun. Have yeah, fun out there. Yeah, it's working for sure. Then once singles start, you guys are up 3-0. Winning just becomes contagious for you guys. Can you hear what's going on down here? Like, do you know we clinched 4 and 5 and 6? When did, How does the news get up there to you guys when you guys play at home? You, well, today it was just I saw them walk up, so I thought, okay, well, <laughs> I mean, okay, they're done pretty quick. G usually gets done real quick. Kevin's always quick. So, But once you're up 3-0, particularly with the – being three doubles points in the NAI, it's almost I'm not impossible, but it's really hard to lose from there because we got such a strong singles lineup. I yeah. would be really surprised if we lost from a 3-0 lead. Well, uh, Locke, uh, business as usual for you guys. You win via the 9-0 sweep, and now we go down to Pensacola. Some of the best NCAA Division II teams are going to be down there. Hawaii Pacific, defending national champion. Mm -hmm. We're going to see Armstrong, Atlantic. What are you guys looking forward to, and how do you use this to prepare for May? It's just a great battle. I particularly, I love the weather because I'm, you know, just used to that heat, bit of humidity. I like the center there as well, and it's just great getting into the D2 schools. Seem to really get in your face a bit, so it just really <laughs> <laughs> makes it more fun. You know, it's a really team atmosphere and get all the boys together. And if you get the win in the end, it, it feels just so much better than if a team say like rolls over a little bit. But they fight for every point, so it's really good. Well, Lachlan, uh, you guys be safe going down there. Good yep. luck as always, Thank buddy. You. And before I let you go get out of here, look right at that camera there and take your time because I know there's a, a strong Australian contingency watching here. Give me some shout-outs. Uh, just a bit of a shout-out, yeah, to all the Australian parents. A shout-out to the Grizzly Digital Media Network for yeah. doing all this. I mean, it's really unusual and almost unheard of in NAI tennis for it to be broadcasted, and it's just awesome for my parents to be able to look and everyone's parents to be able to have a look. So thank you for that, everyone. Uh, but, yeah, thanks, Mum and Dad, for getting me over here. And a bit of a shout-out. I got my driver's license yesterday. Passed hey, with 100. Hey, congratulations. So, um, joined the American what, What's the, what's the car look like so I can know to avoid it? What, what kind of, uh, what kind of, <laughs> you know Matisse is white infinity? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and – we're going to try and sort that out because he's got two cars <laughs> and one driver at the moment. So okay, all right. Get that off him. Very nice. Well, can you hang around for a little bit? I might need a ride back to the car. <laughs> okay, I haven't right? got it yet. <laughs> thanks, man. Appreciate it. Lachlan again. Lachlan McPhee again. Our Grizzly of the day here is uh, George Winnett. Sweeps West Alabama by a final score of nine to nothing.